Hello, everybody. My name is Ben Gramico. I'm from Internachi. That's the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors. I teach free live online classes. We call them webinars. All about home inspections, business, marketing, anything you want to talk about, really. And it's free and live and online and open to everyone. You don't have to be a home inspector. You don't have to be an Internachi member. It's open to everyone. Open enrollment. And if you happen to miss uh, the live class, um, too bad because you can uh, chat with other folks um, online live and you can ask your questions and we can uh, answer them live. But they're all video recorded as well. So you can go to our webinar page and watch the video recordings of any of our live classes. And it's here at nachi.org slash webinars. Those are InterNACHI webinars. And if you wanted to listen while you're working um, to our um, home inspection classes uh, or our webinars, we have a podcast. It's the InterNACHI Home Inspector Podcast. Uh, it's the best podcast uh, online right now at nachi.org slash podcast. And welcome to class. And the title of this class is how to get new inspection clients generated by InterNACHI. So in this free live online class webinar, we're going to learn how to get new clients for your inspection business generated by InterNACHI at no cost. It's a free lead generation service provided by InterNACHI to certified home inspectors. If you're certified by InterNACHI, you're a certified professional inspector and you'll be awarded the CPI credential and designation. And this service is free. If you're not a member, you can join for free if you like for a short free trial, a one month free trial for any non members, and you have to have never been a member. You go to nachi.org slash trial, nachi, N A C H I dot O R G slash trial, and you enter the code webinar month, one word, webinar month. And if you wanted to join at a discount, and if you're not a member, and if you've never been a member, if you want to join for an entire year at a 50% discount, we have that as well at natcha.org slash free, but use the coupon webinar. All right. Thanks for being part of InterNACHI. If you're an InterNACHI member, remember some logistics about the webinar. I can't see you. Don't worry about that. But you should be able to see me. I can't hear you, but you should be able to hear me. Um, don't raise your hand. Roy, I see you're raising your hand. I don't, I don't know what that means on my side, but what I do see is your chats, so you can talk to everyone else, and your questions. So Steve already posted a question, and there goes Anthony uh, posting a question as well. So feel free to post questions during uh, my short presentation. I have some information that I want to share with you, but feel free to ask questions, okay? The three questions that we want to answer during this live class are the following. What are all the ways people can find my business? Two, how can InterNACHI send people to my business? And three, what can an InterNACHI member do to convert those people into scheduled clients? I like those questions, but feel free to ask your questions as well. We'll get to them at the end. So the first one, real quick, what are all the ways people can find my business? Second one, how can InterNACHI send people to my business? And what can an InterNACHI member do? to convert those people into scheduled clients. So the first one is all about these 14 things. We're gonna go over each one in the class. There are 14 ways people find you, okay? And we're gonna focus really on number 13 and 14, an internet you search and someone lands on your website. So that's what are the ways people can find my business. The second thing we're gonna answer during this live class is how can internet you send people to my business? And internet you has search engines all over the internet capturing people who are interested in finding a home inspector in their area. And they do, we direct those people, those interested clients, potential clients to your website. And that's a free lead generation service. And when you log into your InterNACHI dashboard, it kind of looks like this. So you can track, we call this analytics, data, performance of your website. Third question, what can an InterNACHI member do to convert these people into scheduled clients? We're gonna talk about these things. Awareness, nurturing, trust, InterNACHI's marketing team, logo, business and marketing made simple, domain, website, InterNACHI profile, InterNACHI listing, Google business profile, 
profile, five-star Google reviews, and the word commodity. We're going to go over all that during this class, okay? So hold on to your seat, get your notebook out, get your pen, paper, or stop driving, pull over if you're listening, and be sure to ask questions too, okay? We'll get to those questions. But let's do these three questions that I came up with myself. We're going to answer those, okay? First one is, what are all the ways people can find my business? And that's about marketing. Marketing, you want to work on your marketing and InterNACHI can help you. We have a marketing team that works for you. Seven highly professional, highly professional trained, certified consultants, designers, illustrators, and all about marketing. And they all work for you. It would be impossible for you. I don't care how big your business is. It would be impossible for you to hire seven people who just work for you all day long on your marketing. But for free, for InterNACHI members, we have a marketing team, right? So it's all about marketing. Now, when you market your business, what, what does that mean? Where, where does all this stuff go? How do people find you? Well, there are about 14 ways, at least 14 ways. And I wrote down these 14 ways that people can find you, right? Someone reads your email. Well, you're sending out emails all the time, right? And I get those emails sometimes. And in your email signature, some of you don't even have a domain or an email or where I can find you or maybe schedule an appointment with me right now or, or a call button or something like that in your signature, right? So when you send out an email, your signature should be marketing your business. Tell me where to go how to contact you after I read your email. And look at your email. Don't do Outlook. Don't do, remember Hotmail or at msn.com or even Gmail. Get a professionally designed, professionally, um, get a professional domain and then get a branded email based upon that business domain. So you look professional. So when you send out email, you send out emails a lot, right? From your, from yourself, from, your company, from your staff, it should look professional. It should be marketing. So when someone reads that, right, that they're, they become aware of your business. So someone reads your email because you're marketing yourself or someone answers your phone call, right? That's another point where someone has reached your marketing efforts or maybe it's a random bump. Maybe you're in the elevator, you're wearing your your suit, your business suit, you've got your business logo, right? Like I do. You're on an inspection, or maybe you're just talking to somebody who needs an inspection, right? This is one of the ways you can market yourself. You just randomly have a conversation face to face with somebody. Or maybe you have a formal event that you went to and you got a table, you have internet -y stuff behind you, internet -y stuff you're passing out, right? And you're having face to face conversation. So an email, phone call, face to face. Word of mouth, well, that means like uh, people out there are talking well of you and they're sending people to your business, referrals, or someone reads your inspection report. Someone's actually reading one of your inspection reports. Maybe you left it because you did a, a move-in certified inspection and you left copies of the inspection right on the kitchen counter and people who are interested in buying the home can read your inspection report and then take that report in their car and drive around with their real estate agent and look for other houses. Maybe someone sees your vehicle wrap. You know, InterNACHI's marketing team, they can design a logo for your business and you could explode that logo as big as the universe. It'll never lose resolution. So that means you can wrap a vehicle with that logo that's designed by InterNACHI's marketing team. Ben, I already have a logo. InterNACHI's marketing team can redesign your existing logo so that you can do that sort of thing, blow it up and wrap it without losing resolution. It's one of the benefits. Maybe someone finds your business card, flyer, brochure, rack card, or your home maintenance book. Maybe someone reads your forum post. You should be on internet forum, posting things, or your blog. Your website should have a blog. You should be blogging once a week. What should I write about? internet has resources where you just simply copy paste, or you can write on your own about how a home works, how to maintain it, how to save energy. Or someone reads a newspaper article or watches a local TV story that features you. Maybe someone enjoys a social media post. You should be posting 
like a campaign, a schedule, a calendar, maybe every Tuesday, there's a tip, uh, maybe it's tip on Tuesdays, Tuesday tips from Big Ben Inspections, right? Every Tuesday, I'll do an Instagram, Facebook post about a tip, about, you know, check your air, air, air filter. Or someone sees your ad that you're running on Google, Facebook, and Instagram. That could be a little expensive. Maybe someone finds you on a Google search or someone reads your Google reviews or internet you search and someone lands on your website. That's what I wanna talk about. So it's basically at least you have 14 ways that people can become aware of your business. So you do all this marketing, you're sending out all this message about your brand and your services and your fees and, and what you do and why you do it and how, how you do it and why people should hire you. And there are over a dozen ways that people can see that effort, right? And so you wanna think about how people become aware of your business, particularly for the first time. In this home inspection business, it's hard to get recurring clients. It happens, but you really have to nurture them and keep in contact with them and give them a reason to hire you again. So really home inspectors, we kind of focus on people we've never met before. So we, how do people become aware of our business? And those are 14 ways. Awareness is when someone new, you haven't met before, someone new finds you, becomes aware that you exist, right? And we went over those 14 ways where people can become aware of your business. Now, what are you doing right now to make people aware that you exist? You should be thinking about those 14 things that we went over. Are you doing anything to make sure that people can read your inspection report, to make sure that people can find you when you do send out an email, to make sure that people uh, can find you on a Google search. And then ask yourself, as soon as they become aware that you exist, ask yourself, now what? What happens when people become aware? What happens when someone uh, lands on your website? What happens then? What do you think happens? They don't become clients just automatically, you have to nurture them. You have to convince them to hire you, right? When, what happens when someone reads your email? What happens when someone reads your blog, checks out your Instagram post, or sees your ad or visits your website? That's nurturing. Okay, so marketing efforts, people become aware that you exist. Now you have to grab them and nurture them with value-based guided conversations. Nurturing is what you do from the moment someone new becomes aware of your business to that person hiring you. It's that in-between time, marketing awareness, and then you have to nurture them until they hire you. How do you take someone through that consideration period where they're considering hiring you? They become aware of you, they're looking at you, and they're considering, why should I hire you instead of any other inspector? That's a great question. What do you do to help people decide to hire you or not? How are you encouraging, educating, convincing people that your services are of great value to their lives, that they are needed? for their lives to be better. It's all about communicating. And whenever you communicate in your marketing, in your Instagram posts, in your ads, in your report, in your emails, in your phone calls, in your texting, there's two things you gotta do. Show passion, show your passion for inspecting homes and buildings and helping the community. And two, always add value. Don't be selling, don't, be sell, don't sound like a salesperson and absolutely not, do not use fear. Don't post terrible pictures of scary stuff that you found in the attic. Marketing has nothing to do with scaring people to hire you, stop that. It's about educating, communicating, nurturing, that's where you want to be. 
Okay. So there are 14 ways that people can become aware of your business. And let's work on those two things at the very bottom of that list there. Internet you search and someone lands on your website. So what are all the ways people can find my business? Those are the ways. You should be thinking about all these ways. This should be in some kind of business and marketing plan. And your marketing strategy should include these things, these awareness points, and then nurture them to make a decision to hire you. And we can help you with that. And I'm going to get to that too. Okay, that's the first question. The second question, how can internet you send people to my business? And out of that list of 14, we're going to look at number 13, internet you search and someone lands on your website. So internet you has search engines that direct people to your website. And this is a free lead generation service. So let's take a look at this. Inspectorseek.com, inspectorseek.com. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to inspectorseek.com. Let's see, I practiced this before, but let's see if we can get this going here. I'm gonna split my screen. I'm gonna show you how this works, how internet generates leads for you. Go to any natchi.org page, top right corner if you're an internet member and you log in or you join. And Alicia Gramico, my wife, she's a certified professional inspector. She's a certified home inspector. She designs websites. She's an inspector coach. She's a mentor. Um, and she does the newsletter, all these things. Um, she doesn't actively perform home inspections. She just is a certified home inspector. Let's go to her dashboard. And you scroll down her dashboard. And it says, recent leads generated by InterNACHI. Right here is a nice graphic of all of the leads that um, InterNACHI has sent to Alicia. So Alicia's on the internet. She's not, she's not marketing herself as a home inspector or anything. She's not a competitor in Raleigh. But people land on her website, just organically, right? And people use InterNACHI's search engine, inspectorseek.com, to find home inspectors. And maybe they land on um, Alicia's website. And that data is graphed here. And it's also um, listed here. You can actually see how many people have hit Alicia's website, when, what day, and what time, and what from what link click from. Let's do it. Let's see if we can actually get this to work here. So I'm going to cover my face and split my screen. And then we're going to do this. I'm going to go over to Inspector Seek. This is how internet generates leads. So Let's go, um, let's just use uh, Alicia as an example, okay? And usually people just type in like Raleigh, North Carolina, right? And find home inspectors that way. And they click the search button, right? And then they will find home inspectors that are in that area. But I don't think Alicia is gonna show up at the top here. It's, oh, it's randomly generated. Did I see her? There it is, there we go. Alicia Gramico. Okay, so let's pretend I'm a potential client. I'm looking for a home inspector and I, I see, oh, Alicia Gramico. Click, click here. This is a, like a, a landing page with your um, profile image, oh, sorry, your business logo and your essential components, um, parts of your business, your name, business name, address, website, um, email, phone number, things like that. And it's a form where people can say hello to an inspector that they wanna contact, or they can click this button here and they have all this, all this contact information and they can go to Alicia's website, right? Which is Fastsight for you. She designs websites. Over here, this is, remember, this is Inspector Seek. Over here, I just landed on Alicia's website, but in her dashboard, remember we're in her dashboard on the right side? If we um, refresh the screen, right? Let's, let's go down here and refresh it. Let's see what happens. So I just, this right now, it's 916 at 950, right? One minute ago, I just landed on Alicia's website. And I, the click came from this, InterNACHI's search engine. And it, the graphic just went up a little bit, right? So now I'm looking at data analytics of the leads that InterNACHI has sent to Alicia, one of our certified home inspectors. And if it's worth doing, it's worth measuring. 
And so this free lead generation service is a fantastic way to see how your marketing is doing. Are you making people aware that you exist and they're landing on your website? Now your efforts to nurture them to decide to hire you, that's up to you. And we can train you on doing that. But Internetchi, how do you get free leads from Internetchi? This is it. And how do you prove that it works? This is proof that free leads are generated by Internetchi. And we direct people to that landing page and they can email you, call you, or land on your website. If they land on your website, that data pops up into your dashboard. It's fantastic. I want to show you one thing. Let's see if I can get this to work. So uh, I have a, have a website designed by Alicia. <laughs> My website address is, oh, let me, let me show you what it is, right? It's bigbeninspections.com. And this was designed by Alicia's um, uh, website. She designs websites for InterNACHI members. And if you don't have a website, you should go there. But she designs it so that I can um, analyze. I'm going to share my screen with you. I'm going to go away, I think. Hopefully you can see this. She designs websites so I can see. If you go to bigbeninspections.com right now, you can see uh, live visitors. So why don't we try it out? So this is my on my phone, right? This is the data that I have, analytics from Big Ben Inspections. And um, Alicia's company, the design company, gives me this data. So if you go to bigbeninspections.com right now, yep, a second person has, has visited. Why don't you visit it right now? And we can see that we have visitors showing up to my website, right? Uh, three visitors. Okay. And I have analytics. So remember that graph? So not only does InternetG have analytics, but um, your website designer should also provide you analytics as well. Um, I can see a report like that as well. There are seven visitors, eight visitors. And it's kind of cool because um, I could do things like, um, I can go to my dashboard and I can do also like, oh, I got so many people visiting. I can do a point of sale too from my phone. So if I did a home inspection for $500, you know, I can say next, and then they can pay me about $500 and all that stuff. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. People are visiting my website. Oh, boy. I better go back to my dashboard. I better go back. Oh, my gosh. Uh, 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 uh. See? That's pretty cool. So that was all on my phone. And I've got this app that I get from Alicia, and I can monitor my home inspector website from there. Let me just turn everything off. Oh, thank you for visiting. This is fantastic. Wow, you guys are really hitting my dashboard. But can you see? Yeah. And I can do also a point of sale. I can do a live video. So that's one of the benefits of getting a website designer that provides you with analytics. And you get to see people visiting your website. Internet actually does it for free, or you can get it through your website designer. Okay? So I wanted to show you that. If it's worth doing, it's worth measuring. So that's Inspector Seek. And that's the answer to the question, how can Internet actually send people to my business? And I wanted to prove that it works, because a lot of people just don't take advantage of it. For it to work, you have to do something. Let's go back to Alicia's website. This is... Um, her account, InterNACHI account. Um, you have to log in. When you log in, you have to update your profile. So you go to profile and settings. Can you see that? Profile and settings. And you go to your profile. Click the button to go to your profile. Scroll down. Make sure your phone number is there. Your name is there. Your mailing address is there. And your email address is there. Right? And right here. Right here is where you want to go. And actually... Right here, she just rebranded. So it's no longer a fast site for you. It's inspectorwebsitebuilder.com. You want to enter your website right there in your InterNACHI profile. That whole dashboard with the graphics and the leads and the inspectors landing on your website, that doesn't work if you don't have a website. So you got to get a website, right? If you're not online, I don't know what you're doing. 
you got to get a website. And as soon as you get a website, you got to update your InterNACHI profile so that InterNACHI can generate leads for you. So you can analyze those analytics and take a look at the graphics and see how well your marketing is doing, right? How many people are landing on your business website? You should be paying attention to that. Did that email marketing campaign you just sent out to all of your clients or all of your real estate agents, did it work? I mean, if you send out an email to 100 people with a link to visit your website, you should know if people visited your website. So InterNACHI provides the, that data for you, that website performance we call analytics, okay? Or you can get it from your website designer. Question number three that we wanted to go over in this class. What can an InterNACHI member do to convert those people into clients? Great, Ben. You're talking about marketing, right? People become aware. There's a 14 things, and then there's nurturing and conversation, value-guided conversation until people decide to hire you. So what can an internet member do to convert those people into scheduled clients? What is that nurturing process, right? Well, nurturing is that conversation where you think about why I should hire you instead of the next person. That takes some thought. What makes you different from all the rest? What makes you different from all the rest? What value do you provide that's different from all the rest? And don't make it price. Because when everything else is the same, the only thing that's different is price. And people will tend to choose the lowest price and lowest price wins. And that's no good for anybody. Don't be in a competition. Don't be in a price war with anyone. What you want to do is be in a war, a competition about value, right? One of the things you can do is build on trust. Home inspectors, home inspectors should think about building trust. Why? Well, trust sells and trust wins. Trust converts people who became aware of your business, awareness, and then were nurtured with valuable information, communicated to them, nurturing, and guided along to make a decision to hire you. That's what trust does. Trust is that last piece that converts them. People hire inspectors they trust. And you can stand on the rooftop and yell that you're trustworthy. No one's going to listen to you. And there's no formula really on how a home inspector can build trustworthiness. But it may have a lot to do with the following things. Having a positive impact on the community. People trust businesses that have a great positive impact on the community. And that's what home inspectors do. We home inspectors, we inspect our neighbors' homes and make sure that they're in good working condition. To make, we make sure that their homes are healthy. And if there are any problems, we're going to try to find them and tell them about it. That's fantastic. That's a valuable part of the community. People also trust businesses that provide valuable information and services that are accurate, reliable, and unbiased. And that's what a home inspector does. You're in a great position to build trust. You just have to start thinking about how do I do that? So what, I'm gonna give you the answer. What can an InterNACHI member do to build trust, to convert those people into scheduled clients? We'll build content that's valuable to people. People love valuable information. People love, you know, like Netflix documentaries, right? Netflix shows. People can consume a lot of information. Man, people can consume a lot of information that they find valuable. And that's what you should be doing. Because you can build, build trust that way. If you start talking about Essentially, home inspectors are storytellers. We tell stories about homes. The more stories you tell, the more credibility you build yourself up as the local authority who knows everything about homes and buildings. So start building content and sharing that with people with passion and adding value to the conversation. Here's how you do it. Here's some resources. Use InterNACHI's Tips for Home Buyers. It's a booklet. It's on my website. Did you see it? BigBenInspections.com. You go to BigBenInspections.com. The second section down, you scroll just a little bit. There's this graphic and it's a tips. 
and I just give it away to anybody who wants it. I don't even ask for their name or email. You could, you could capture their name and email. Like, oh, if you want my tips booklet, give me your email. That's a good way to capture leads and start to nurture that conversation, right? Or you can just give away information that people find valuable. Use InterNACHI's Introduction to Home Inspections course. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna show you how to do this. So excited about this. Go to our education page. Oh, or you can go to um, Get Started, any NACHI.org page, Get Started, and go to our training and education page there and type in Introduction. There's an introduction to home inspections for real estate professionals. You want to skip that. You want to share that to real estate agents, by the way. It's open to real estate agents right now. You can start teaching home uh, real estate agents about what a home inspection really is and what really matters in a home inspection. Here's what you should do. Go to Introduction to Home Inspections course. Open this course up. And every section, let's start with uh, home maintenance. Every section, you just do this. Ready? Watch. Copy, Command C, I'm on an Apple, Command C, and then paste it into a blog. Or maybe you just take a look at the wording, maybe um, this is too much or too many words, and you tweak it so it sounds like you're saying it. It's probably a better idea, right? There's a, a blog. You want to do one of those every, every week? Easy. Just schedule that in your calendar. That's a blog. That's a post. That's a blog. That's something. Uh, every website should have, every home inspector website should have a blog. Alicia has that. Alicia ha can create a blog for you, for your website, inspectorwebsitebuilder.com. You know, you should be blogging. It's on my phone, actually. If I wanted a blog right here, um, blog posts right there. Can you see it? It says blog posts. And so, um, yeah, I can, oh, here's the primary responsibility. I actually have that that section of the course in my blog. That's a blog on my website. I can manage it from my phone. So we have resources, international resources. Feel free to use these resources in order to build trust by creating valuable content that you share with people. Post selfies. What should I say in a selfie? Well, just talk about what, don't, don't do anything scary. I see a lot of things like, oh, look at this. It's, it's dripping. It's it's on fire. And you just, you know, it's a, oh, this is dangerous. Don't, don't play the game of fear. No one's going to hire you because you scared them into it. Post selfies on how a home works, how to maintain it, and how to save home energy. You're an expert on that, right? Give InterNACHI's home maintenance book to every client. InterNACHI has a physical 100-page full-color book that's customizable to your business and you give it to every client and agent. And you just, if you want to do a presentation, you pass this home maintenance book out to everybody. It's, I think it's two bucks, three bucks, right? Too expensive? Don't pay for it. Increase your fee by $3. There, now every client is buying their own home maintenance book. Borrow trust from InterNACHI. What? Yeah. So if, you don't have, if you're new, this is fantastic for new inspectors because um, you lack trust, right? No one knows you. No one's really aware of you, and you you don't have any credibility. So how do you how do you get people to trust you, right? You borrow InterNACHI's trust. InterNACHI, the world's largest organization that trains and certifies inspectors, we say that you are competent and qualified to do a home inspection. You should borrow that trust by taking InterNACHI's logos and all of your certification logos and embedding them in your marketing sending that message out. I'm certified professional inspector, CPI. That's a nationally, federally credential. That's a federally marked credential and designation offered by the only home inspection college on the planet. You should post your, you should become a graduate of the home inspector certificate program. Ever been to school for home inspections? Yeah. Were they a real college? Uh, no, unless you were attending internet school. There's only one home inspector college on the planet. Nationally accredited, tuition-free home inspector college. Become a graduate of that college and then post that certificate that you completed the certificate program, nationally accredited certificate program everywhere. That's a way to build trust. You're saying that this large organization, this third-party 
certification organization has certified me and I'm telling you that. That's how people can trust you, okay? Borrow in and actually just trust. So what can an energy member do to convert those clients? Awareness is about marketing. Nurturing is that point where someone becomes aware of your business and then you guide them along with value-based conversations, guided conversations till, until they make a decision on hiring you. How do they hire you? Well, they got, they got to trust you. So you got to show your credibility and authority as someone who's providing incredible value, overwhelming value. The perceived value has to be overwhelming in relation to the cost. In business, there's a general rule. If the value, if the perceived value is much greater than the cost, it's a great decision. So if you can show, if people are landing on your website, you're looking at Internet G's search engine analytics, right? Through your dashboard and people are landing on your website, but no one's calling, no one's scheduling. There might be something wrong with your messaging. You're not overwhelming anybody with incredible value. You're not making yourself different from all the rest. What makes you different and special and different than the next home inspector? Why are they hiring her instead of you? Why is she able to convert every website visitor into a scheduled client? It's because she knows how to brand her services and overwhelm clients with incredible value. She's telling people that she can meet their needs. Whatever their problem is, they found the right inspector. They're going to hire her. You have to think like that. It isn't just enough, sorry to say. It isn't just enough that you got trained and certified. That doesn't mean anything. You still have to work. You still have to get to work. People are becoming aware of you. And what are you doing when they become aware of you? Are you talking to them? Are you communicating to them? Are you having conversations with them? Are you nurturing them towards you until they make a decision to hire you? So there's awareness, nurturing, trust. We talked about those three things. InterNACHI's marketing team. We talked about InterNACHI's marketing team. The first thing I would do with InterNACHI's marketing team, I'd get a logo. I don't even care if I have a logo right now, right? They can redesign the logo. Get something a little bit, it'll be similar, but fresh, right? Modernize it or get an absolutely new one. And the design work that InterNACHI's marketing team does all that consultation and design work is free. You don't pay for it. What do you pay for? The printing. So what I would do is I'd go to the cheap route, buy a box of business cards, and that triggers InterNACHI's marketing team to reach out to you, and they start consulting you. They start asking you, so what do you do? What services do you provide? What kind of feeling do you provide? What do you do with, with a client? How do you interact? You know, and they start to get the feel. Are you like first American home inspections, or are you more like, like <laughs> Our approach, my brother, InterNACHI founder, Nick Ramiko and I, we thought of a softer approach. Our home inspection company was called Peach Inspections. So we thought we could connect with um, real estate agents who are mostly female. And we wanted to be like an effeminate kind of approach in our marketing so that we're soft and fuzzy and juicy and sweet and all that good stuff, right? It's all about marketing. What kind of feel do you want to send out there? in your marketing so that be, people become aware of your business, that you exist. Oh, and then you nurture them into making a decision because they trust you. So InterNACHI's marketing team is a great first step. And it, it also helps veteran inspectors. Veteran inspectors should be borrowing trust from InterNACHI using the certification logos in order to reinforce their credibility and authority. Right? They've been in the market for 20 years, and also InterNACHI's certifications are there to back that up. Right, But they should also keep thinking about marketing. Redesign the logo, and let's say you're totally new. Your next step after you reach InterNACHI's marketing team, they design the logo for you, and you order a business cards. I think you get a big box of business cards, and the design work is free. All you do is pay for printing. It's about 100 bucks. You get a domain. You go to Google Domains or Wix. Let's see if I can do this right. 
Let's go to Wix. Wix domains. You search for a domain. Uh, I'll make sure you get to Wix. I just did, okay. So, Dual, I see that you've chatted. You've been a real estate uh, realtor. You've been in, you've been to 30 realtor offices in Northern uh, North Carolina the past three weeks. Okay, Dual, I don't know if you have a, a domain, but I'm gonna say limeberryinspections.com. Let's see if it's good news. Limeberryinspections.com can be yours right now. Man, I'd get that right now. Oh, and then you gotta log in and get that domain. But that was kind of fun. Lionberryinspections.com. Get a get a domain, and that domain is kind of like a uh, it's like a pointer, and it points to your website. You can have a bunch of domains, actually, right? Lionberry HI maybe is something easier to say. Lionberry HI, right? Is that right? Lionberry HI, search. Oh, that's available too. Lionberryhi.com is yours right now. So maybe when you're on the phone, people don't want to, or you're trying to text line, line berry. Uh, there's a bunch of things you can do. Lineberry HI is available. Now, so you can have two domains pointing at the same website, right? So you need a domain, buy a domain, and then let's get back to our slides here. Get a domain, then get a website, website design. And I like to share with you where I think you should go to get a website design. There are many other companies that do website designs. I prefer this one, um, nachi.org slash website. I don't care where you go. I really don't. I don't care where you go. As long as you're happy with that service, I mean, if you're happy with a website designer, sir, go for it, right? Um, the, the mission of this company is to be affordable and somewhat fast. You got to get online. Can't, it can't be a month, just a few, in a few days. And every website design should be less than $500 and $20 a month. If you're paying more for that, I can't, I can't figure out why. I have no idea. If you're paying more, if you're paying over $1,000 for a website design, I don't, I don't get it. I, don't, I have no idea why would, you would do that. And then, uh, cause internet cheese, uh, we negotiated with, we negotiated with vendors in order to reduce the prices so that you keep your internet members, keep their money in their pocket, right? We do all the hard work because we're so big internet that we force our vendors to make exclusive deals with us. So you get the best service for the best price, right? And don't buy any management, uh, management fees, monthly management fees. You don't need that. Once a website's designed, it's basically online and live and it can run by itself. You to take a look at it. If you have troubles, you, you know, you can find somebody to you know, at an hourly fee or one one time fee or something, 50 bucks and fix that, you know. But basically you have a domain, you have a website, and it's making you money because it's designed right. So go to natural.org slash website. And actually, profile member, we went into Alicia's profile and we updated her profile with her business uh, information, email, phone number, name, and website. URL, that's the domain. You enter your domain into your internet profile and then internet listing. What's an internet listing? So many things to do, right? It's kind of fun though. Stop watching Netflix. <laughs> if you have a TV, get a hammer and smash your TV. That's right. What? You're either in business or you're not. So uh, let's go here. Is this my, yeah, no. Let's get rid of this. Here we go. Let's slide this up. Sorry, I want to start all over. Okay, so let's log in as Alicia, right? Dashboard, member profile, bottom left. And it looks like that, profile and settings. But up above, click listings. Listings is where do you do home inspections? And you add up to 10 areas where you do home inspections. And if you have different offices, you can add different offices. You have multiple inspection companies all over the country, you can have a multi-inspector dashboard. But if you're a single um, sole inspector, inspector company, right? One inspector or two inspectors, one area, add up to 10 listings so that people who are searching on inspector seek, looking for a home inspector in their zip code, maybe they type in your zip code or one of the 10 areas and they can still find you, okay? 
So you have to be on InterNACHI's dashboard. Let's get back to our InterNACHI profile, update that, InterNACHI listing. Okay, let's not go too far. Awareness, nurturing trust, we got them down, right? InterNACHI's marketing team, box of business cards, 100 bucks, get a logo. Domain, we just saw how to get a domain. Website design, you know where to go to web design, and you have a good idea of how much it should cost. InterNACHI profile, how to update InterNACHI profile, how to update the InterNACHI listing. Google business profile, just search uh, online. Google business, pro how do I create a Google business profile? Google will not recognize you until you verify that you are a business located in a certain area at an address. And sometimes it's automatically verified very quickly or um, they're not quite sure that you're a, a, a real person. And so they send in a postcard to the address of your business and you have to get that postcard and there's a code. You have to go log in online through your Google business profile. It's kind of like through maps and you have to enter that code and then you're verified. Now you can actually pop up on a Google search and then you start working on ranking. So much fun, that's called SEO. Don't worry about that. Your website designer can help you with that. As Soon as you get a verified Google business profile, you wanna ask people for reviews. And if you're brand new, that's easy. You just do free home inspections for your neighbors, your friends, friends of friends, do a free inspection for real estate offices. You know, st start to develop your skills by doing free inspections because you don't want any liability because you're new, right? You may make a mistake, but if no one's paying you and there's no contract or then you don't have to worry about that. You're just doing it for out of courtesy and for fun, but you're doing a home inspection. So you want that person in exchange for a free home inspection to give you a Google review. And that's a, that's a legitimate thing. I think you go to your neighbor or your friend, hey, Big Ben, he did a pretty good home inspection. Think that's all you need. Why are you getting Google reviews? It's about trust. Remember trust? The number, the number one thing, uh, people will, um, people who, consumers, and people who are buying services would rather listen to the recommendations from a total stranger than listen to you talk about yourself. Let me say that again. 75% of all consumers would rather listen to what a total stranger says about you than you. So you can say, you can be, again, on top of the roof, yelling out how great you are, but people are gonna listen to total strangers. So that's why you need Google reviews. You need total strangers, not maybe not total strangers to you, but total strangers for your potential clients to say something nice about you. You need other people to say something nice about you. And Google owns the internet. So you gotta get Google reviews. And you do that through your Google business profile. So you need an InterNACHI profile, InterNACHI listing, and a Google business profile to get Google reviews. I'm trying, and this is, <laughs> it could be complicated, right? But I'm trying to make it into a sequential uh, list of things that you can just check off at night. You know, hey, I watched a little bit of football last night too, but I worked on my business as well. Got to do both. Because you want to make a great living. That's the whole point of doing all this. What is the point of doing all this? Uh, seems like too much, right? I just want a good job. Well, maybe you should, you know, look for an ad and get a good job. Make a good living. But if you want to make a great living, if you want the potential to make a fantastic living, make a stack of cash, and you can do good things in the world too. I mean, you can pay your bills, pay your mortgage, send kids to school, donate, go to church, things like that. But if, if you want that extra stuff, not just a, a week vacation, but you know, many weekends vacation. That's why people go into business, to make a lot of money. And I'm, I want you to have all the resources. I don't want it to be overwhelming, but I want you to have all the resources you need to make a great living being a home inspector. It's the best thing in the whole world to be a home inspector. And InterNACHI has everything you need to become a great home inspector and make a great living.
Okay. Google reviews, it's really important. There's two things I want you to do. So if you're wondering, oh, I don't want to, you know, that's a lot of information. What can I do that's like a little bit more relaxing? I got it, right? I made a series of videos, 16 videos. It's called Business and Marketing Made Simple. It's for home inspectors. And it's at nachi.org slash simple. And I tried to make everything that we just talked about simple for you. Because that's, I feel like that's what I need to do for you, right? Because it's not complicated and it's so exciting to watch things actually be created and built and to be successful. But it's got to, it can't be complicated. So I made it simple, nachi.org slash simple. If you go there, nachi.org slash simple, you'll see a video and it's one out of 16. So see the top right corner, one out of 16, it's a playlist. So you watch one, there are only like a few minutes each, right? The whole thing's not like 20 minutes. And I just make things a little bit simple for you. So natchee.org slash simple. And then another thing about, remember we talked a little bit earlier about um, what distinguishes you from all the rest? Well, you should look up the word commodity. You don't wanna be a commodity. A commodity is something that can be interchanged with anything else similar. And so home inspectors, we're, we're kind of like commodities. This is a commodity industry a little bit, right? If you don't do any marketing, we're kind of like all the same. If you don't do any marketing, right? Don't do any nurturing to get people aware of you. Don't do any marketing. Because I'm performing a home inspection and so are you. And so are you. And we're performing a home inspection according to the same standard. You do a roof, exterior, heating, going, right? Electrical, interior windows. Yeah. So same kind of stand, same standard. We perform the same, we do the same thing according to the same standard. Well, do you, what do you, what do you write? I write a report. Do you write a report? I write a report. You write a report. We all write reports. You have a logo? I got a logo. I got a logo. You got a logo. Are you certified? I'm certified. It's one of the, all the same. All the same. Do you have a license? Oh, I got a license. What's the difference? If everything's the same, people are going to look at your price. Again, we mentioned this earlier. Lowest price wins. You don't want to do that. What you want to do is you want to compete on value. I talked about this in the commodities video. I won't go into it in detail, right? Because we're approaching an, an hour in our free live class. So I'm going to show you a short video about not being a commodity. And it will help you destroy that idea for yourself. There are a few ways where you can destroy that commodity in your business. You don't want to be a commodity. You want to distinguish yourself from all the rest. So I give you some tips on how to do that. You go to nachi.org slash webinars. Let's go to our webinar page, right? And there's a search field right there. You type in commodity, C-O-M-M-O-D-I-T-Y. And you'll see a big watch. It's a thumbnail of a video with a big watch. And it looks like I'm about to hug a tree or something. And you just watch that. Seven tips to destroy the commodity of home inspections. Do that tonight. That's good homework. And then go to natchiorg slash simple and watch the videos so that you're not overwhelmed, right? And if you forget what to do first, second, third, what do I do first again? What else, what's the second step? Where do I go next? I got that as well. Natchi.org slash everything. Natchi.org slash everything. Here's 15 sequential steps for successful home inspectors. And we start with the first step is join InterNACHI. You got to join InterNACHI. If you're a member of other organizations, that's fantastic. But InterNACHI is like, when you become a member of InterNACHI, your whole life changes because you have all the resources you need to be a successful home inspector. And then you get trained and certified and licensed and experienced. Then you purchase some tools and software. I got some tools right here. This is a cool tool, my infrared camera. I just, I just found a water lake yesterday with my FLIR infrared camera. That was really cool. And then uh, do you know about drones? 
drones is another tool. This one's, uh, I think this is a $300 drone. It's really easy. It's less than a half a pound. Um, even if you fly for fun, you now have to take a pilot license through the FAA. Oh man, what's on the test? Take InterNACHI's drone course and you'll pass pretty well, probably. No guarantee, but you got to take that test. Even if you want to fly for fun, no. Uh, you got to calculate profitable inspection fees. You got to get a domain, logo, website, and free job leads. We talked about that in this class. That's step five. And then after you complete the first five steps, you're at a point where you can start making money as a home inspector. And then if you want to keep going at night, learn about how to develop and grow your business and boost your marketing and serve clients better, you can go over these steps as well and they're in sequence. Where is all that? That's all on nachi.org slash everything. And that is what an InterNACHI member can do to convert those people that InterNACHI sends to your business, convert them into scheduled clients. So in this class, we learned how to get new clients for our inspection businesses generated by InterNACHI for free. And we answered these three questions. What are all the ways people can find my business? How can InterNACHI send people to my business? And what can an InterNACHI member do to convert those people into scheduled clients? Those are the questions that we answered during this live class. Let's take a look at your questions, okay? So I'm gonna drag this over. We got some chatting going on. That's good. And here's some questions here. I hope you can see the questions. Maybe you can chat that you can see the questions or not. Okay. So we got a few questions. Steve says, can a professional, let's see if I can blow this up more. Can I blow this? No, darn it. Can a professional home inspector uh, be a notary public? Is this conflict or not? Sure, you can, you can be a notary public. It's not a conflict for internet chief. Nope. Uh, so how are you considered a certified member? I'm technically an intern, but I would have my own inspection company. Um, so Anthony, you join internet chief as a member of a very large organization, right? And at any time, Anytime you want, you can you can go around and take advantage of all the resources. You can take courses for free and everything like you can go enroll into the college or anything like that. And when you become a when you want to become a home inspector, then there's six steps to become a certified home inspector. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of them is you join InterNACHI. So you're down one. Now you got five left. You have to have to take an exam and a couple other courses. And then you have to write four reports. I don't have any software. We give you the software and then you have to sign your name. You need to become a certified home inspector. Great. I don't got any. What, what do I do now? Well, you have to build a business. Why do I do that? You take the InterNACHI home inspection business course. We show you how to create a business for yourself. Or you go online and you look for a job working for someone else as a home inspector. There are a lot of companies who are hiring home inspectors, but they want to know, are you trained and certified? So InterNACHI is probably a good place to start. And then you have to make a decision. Do I want to work for someone else or do I want to work for myself? Um, that's that. Uh, David, do you have a template or an email that we can use for what? Um, a template or an email that we can use? I'm not sure, use for what? Um, when you see live visitors, can you start a chat? Yeah, so on my phone, I can start a chat. Um, there are many things uh, it comes with my website design. Um, Alicia gave me that. Uh, um, oh, I can show you later, but it's on. It's I'm not very good at it, right? You got to be good at it. that's. There's a lot of things you can put on your website. There's a lot of things you can do, and sometimes it can be overwhelming. So careful with the chat, right? Because when people start chatting, right? Like if you chat through Google, your Google Business Profile. If you don't reply within 24 hours, Google says, we're going to cut off your chat. So you, if you're going to start a chat, like you got to, that's it. Like middle of the night, like someone chats you, you got to reply. So careful if you want to do that. But yeah, anybody, can, any website designer should be able to put a chat on your thing. Uh, Matthew, I was told that 90% of the clients would become realtors. Well, I was told in training that 90% of clients would come from realtors. Oh, uh, no, that's not... So um, there's a really successful home inspector. He always forget his name on Instagram. I follow him. He's really fun to watch. All he does is pre 
a drywall inspection, new construction inspections for builders. For, for homeowners who are buying new construction, even during new construction phases, you should get a home inspection. And he does that. He's on Instagram. Can't remember who it is. But that's not true. Like in my business, it was like most of my jobs came from real estate agents, but it doesn't have to be, right? Are there specific ways to reach out to and target realtors that you would recommend? Yeah. So uh, Juan says, go to live networking events in your area. Face-to-face -face is always best. I try to attend one or two a week. And also, let me give you some resources. Slide this over, slide this over, come back to you. You go to natchi.org slash presentation. Natchi.org slash presentations. Presentations. Natchi.org slash presentations. This is free real estate presentation resources. Watch the video. It's a few minutes long. Explains how what is going on here. For example, here's a, a PowerPoint presentation on AFCIs. And what you do is you customize it. So it's editable. You put your logo in there, put your name in there, and you use it to talk a little bit about something of value. Don't talk about yourself. Something of value, right? Always be value and be passionate. I'm passionate about AFCIs. What do they do? Well, here's what they do. And there's presentation presenter notes. So you can look smart. When a slide comes up, you know exactly what to say. And they're about five minutes long. Don't bore real estate agents. Give them valuable information and show your passion in and out. Pass out cards, those business cards designed by InterNACHI's marketing team with their nice logo on it. And they have a website. Get a website that's professionally designed that can convert site visitors into clients. All this, right? So much fun. Um, don't become... Uh, my advice is to stick with doing your core service, which is home inspections. Don't try to compete with other uh, people in business who teach CE to real estate agents. That is a tough business because real estate CE courses, it's about $10, $20 an hour. You can't make money doing that. Oh, I'm going to teach real, real estate CE so that people can um, become aware of my home inspection. Okay. There are other ways to become aware of your business, right? Okay. Um, should you have a signed agreement for a free inspection or is there any like There is. So um, go to your uh, local business attorney. Um, CPA might have, uh, have a, a contact um, and have something drawn up. Um, so that's a great idea. Um, I would do that. Um, I have done that in the past. I have not done that in the past. Uh, I kind of like your idea of getting an agreement. So I would do that. It's a great idea, Glenn. Um, Paul, out of the last 20 inspections I've done since I started a website, I only got one review and a, it's a five star. Oh, also, uh, I, I'm going to get to it, Glenn. Uh, Paul, um, if you are a veteran inspector and you have hundreds of clients, and you don't have any Google reviews, oh, you've got to ask all of your past clients for Google reviews. That's like gold, man. No one has that. If you have hundreds of clients just sitting there, reach out to them. Say, hey, do you remember? Like it was a long time ago, but you know, I did a home inspection for you. Did, uh, how, how'd it go? Was you, good? Can you give me a Google review? Our business is really, really thriving because of our Google reviews. And would you be able to? That'd be great. Okay, Paul, one of our, uh, I didn't, out of 20 inspections since I started a website, I've only gotten one review and it's five star. I use ISN and two emails asking for a review. I don't get any. What do you, can you do? To, um, it's all about the messaging. I mean, I get a lot of emails to do something too. Like, you know, I go to a restaurant and somehow they get my email and they ask for a review. And if it isn't easy, like a click, I'm not going to do it. Really, it's got to be simple and easy. So it's probably, you know, you may want to look and make sure like a 10 year old understands what you're asking in an email, has to look professional too. And nowadays you gotta get into texting. I mean, if they were your client, you're probably texting them already um, with rem auto reminders that your inspection is coming up or thanking them for scheduling. And then auto reminders, one week out, three, uh, two days out, one day out, one hour out, and then reminding them, you know, to do things before you go home and spring. And then you follow up with texting to text. Yeah. So, you know, a Google review with a text is so easy to do. Um, so you may want to think about that. 
You may want to think about how you're asking people to do things. It's, it's dif really difficult. How do you consider marketing for safety as a marketing with fear? What do you consider marketing for safety as marketing with fear? No. No, like if you if you're teaching about safety items like this railing should be, you know, this railing is very loose, you know, and it should be uh, the videos that I see from home inspectors are all about like, um, you know, you don't want to show anybody falling through the railing. You don't want to show the loose railing and like have them imagine like you don't want uh, you don't want anything to happen. Right. So you want to stiffen up this railing. This guard needs to be secure. Um, if you have like, a, well, you can Google, there's like a lot of things like, um, I don't know. I never understood about the snake skin, snake skins in crawl spaces. Like, oh, there's a snake skin in someone's crawl space. It's not even a home that you, you know, I wouldn't hire you to, to find snake skin. You may find snake skins and somewhere. And that means there's a snake somewhere. Maybe, you know, I don't know. Just never understood that kind of stuff, um, you know, like, uh, <laughs> well, there's like a few things, like showing, showing mold, right, is a really good, valuable uh, idea, but showing the effects of mold on people's lungs, like I want, one thing was like, you know, about lungs, and it was like a, a literal picture of lungs, of lungs from a home inspector, like, I don't want to see that. Uh, and it's probably, you know, just taken off the internet. I don't want to see lungs. I don't want to see guts, lungs, people falling off of railings, snakes biting people, right? But you can talk about safety for sure. What is the safety of, um, what, why would you want a GFCI in the bathroom, right? So I understand what you're saying, but um, I think maybe if you, like I, I'm probably hanging around watching uh, Instagram videos of home inspectors I follow too much. Um, hardly any of the good ones say anything that is scary, right? Um, you just want to show people how the home works, how to maintain it so that it is safe and healthy. Uh, should I have more than one domain? Ash Nashville, home inspector, not kind of structural home inspector. Yeah. I would, it's really good for SEO and it's also good for communicating because um, let's say you wanna to communicate to someone to visit your website and uh, imagine them across the street and you wanna yell out your domain, right? Really long domains don't convey that well, right? But a short one would. Same thing with texting, maybe a long one, it's hard to read, you know? isn't very good, but a short one would be good. Now, if it's a domain for your main inspection business website, a long one's okay, right? It's good, like a uh, uh, inspector website builder. Like if someone types in inspector website builder, inspectorwebsitebuilder.com is a really long name. That's a good domain. It's really good for SEO and search keyword searches and things like that. But um, it's really difficult to type. I don't know how many letters that is, right? In text. So have multiple domains and they all point to the same. Like you can have a domain on your business card that's different from your domain on your website for sure. Um, and when somebody lands on that website, no one cares. Oh, the, the domain changed. You know, I don't know. I don't trust this person anymore. No one cares about that. For email marketing. Oh, what was the original question? Something about... Do I have a template? Do I have a template? Damn it, I can't remember your question. Do I have a template? Do I have a template for email marketing? Um, no. Uh, like, oh, I could show you on my phone. Oh, on my phone, there's a, I have a Wix site. Um, and they give you a calendar of things to do. So like Tuesday was Tips Tuesday. And you go into your Wix and you click tips and you go to Tuesday and it gives you, do you, it asks you, do you want to make a video today and post it? Or do you want to just do a picture? And what do you want to say today? Like, what's your tip? You just type in the text. They give you images to pick from where you upload your own images and you click button, you submit it and it shoots out to all the, in like five minutes, you done a tips Tuesday posting, right? Same thing with your email. Like 
if you're email, if you're emailing brand new people, or if you're emailing real estate agents, or if you're emailing your existing contacts, those messages are completely different. There's no template. Like if you're messaging people for Google reviews that you did in the past year, right? That message has to come from you. How do you talk to people? Like, how do you ask them? How do you tell them that this is really important to our business? I forgot to ask you for a Google review. Would you be available to do it here? Tink. Yeah. So we don't have an email template, but there's, um, it's all about messaging. What do you want to say? And then um, you should never have any grammatical errors ever in your email. In your text, that's fine. In your posts, that's fine, kind of. But in your email, mm, email is formal. And uh, first letter of every sentence is capitalized. There's punctuation, right? So email is different. Email is very formal. That's what I would say. Uh, how do you deal with agents who want the report to be written their way? And I am a new agent and lost some already. Or their way, I'm a new agent, a new inspector and I lost some already. You know what? How do you deal with agents who want the report to be written their way? Um, I had that once. I just don't work with them. I just, I fire them. I can't work with people who want me to say things that I don't want to say. So if there's a hole in the roof and they're like, hey, can you, can you, uh, can you just say that there's a, a non-bearing surface, you know, why do you have to say hole? A hole sounds so bad, right? No, I'm going to say that there's a hole in the roof and you're probably working for an agent who thinks home inspectors kill deals and home inspectors don't kill deals. That's silly for agents to say that. We're just storytellers, essentially. We're telling the story of the home. And in my head, I'm telling the story of a home that's being purchased by my client and they're moving in no matter what. Because basically that's it. You, there's hardly anything you could say that's going to kill a deal. You can ask that agent, what do you think I could say that would kill a deal? And you say, well, I don't say that, right? What would you say? That, oh, I found snake skin in the crawl space. The house is filled with snakes, right? Fear, maybe that. Right, but you would never say that because you don't educate people on fear. You educate people on how a home works and how to maintain it, and how to save energy. And so, when you're telling a story to a client, that client has gone through so much to get here. They have researched the neighborhoods and the school districts and the streets, and they've visited 20 homes and they've been online looking at homes and they've found a real estate agent and they found a bank and they got approved by finance. They got our finances in order and they saved our money. And they, they, they went into the, they liked the home. They put a, a, a bid on it. It's accepted. Now it's, now they're here just to see if there's anything really wrong with the house. Maybe there is, but you have to assume that they have found their dream home. They found their dream home. This is it. And they're moving in. So if there's a hole in the roof, there's a hole in the roof. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? Well, that's not really me. I'm here to report my observations. But if you're asking for my personal advice, like, well, you either fix it yourself after you move in, or you ask the seller to fix it before you move in. That's really the only two things. I mean, there's a hole in the roof. It's got to be fixed. When do you want it fixed and by whom? And they'll probably go, hmm, I have to think about that. And that's all. That's all you do. You don't tell them what to do. Now, there's hardly anything you can say as a home inspector that kills a deal. Don't worry about that. What are your thoughts on sponsoring real estate workshops? I love it. It's a good return on investment. Heck yeah. And it's a lot of fun. We used to feed people. Remember Peach Inspector? I talked about our, our name, Nick Romico, Internet Chief Founder, and I had Peach Inspections. And we would feed real estate agents freshly baked, warm peach pastries. So good. So good. They, they were eating our brand. We would sponsor. It would just be, 
we, would, we bring forks and napkins and knives. You need a lot of napkins because you don't want things all over the place. Yep. And we would say a couple moments of their time and get the heck out of there. And while they're eating it during their business meeting, they'd be like, oh, oh, oh this is really good peach stuff. Peach, oh, peach, peach. Well, who, who did it? Peach, ins peach inspections, peach inspections, peach inspections, peach inspections. And it's so easy to get our brand into their mouths, into their heads. So I kind of like one, kind of like the presentations. As a, we also have peach uh, candy, little peach candy. So peach pastries, peach candy. Yeah. Are there any uh, report writing software recommended by Energy? Yep. Yeah. So go to natchi.org. We'll slide this over, right? Natchi.org slash everything. Natchi.org slash everything. And there is software. Step three is software. So you learn about software right there. Natchi.org slash everything and go to step three. Victoria, where do you find a strong, is there, do you find that there is a strong market for inspections within the estate planning industry? I don't know anything about it. That's a good question. Do you, do you find there's a strong market for inspections within the estate planning industry? That'd be really good. That'd be a really cool clients. I'd like that. Um, okay. Those are the questions. Hope you all had fun um, with the class. And I want to thank you for attending the free live online class. It's really nice to talk to other inspectors. You guys are the best. I love uh, talking to other inspectors about home inspections and having fun making money with marketing and business. It's the best. If you ever need anything, this is what I do. This is what the entire staff at Internet does. There's about two and a half dozen of us working full-time at Internachi, and we all work for you so that you can be successful. So feel free to reach out to any of us, including me, anytime. We're all on the contact page, natchi.org. And I want to thank you, and I'll see you on the next webinar. So say, stay safe and healthy, everybody, and uh, have fun, and I'll see you later. Bye, everyone. <laughs>